Investigator Ross Jones is here now, and Ross, what a year it has been. For sure, Carolyn. Bob Ficano once said his administration was one of Michigan's cleanest. Well, maybe not. Since the feds made a visit there last year, their probe into Wayne County has led to four charges, two guilty pleas, and one political career on life support. When it came to photo ops, Bob Vacano was the master. Not long ago, he was a man in demand, cutting ribbons, posing for pictures, and pressing the flesh with the president. This picture from just a year ago. Well, what a difference a year makes. These are very basic questions about dates and when things were written. Once we exposed his top aide's secret severance, Vacano went from kingmaker to kryptonite almost overnight. Other politicians kept their distance, and the president, he's not been seen near Vacano ever since. I accept responsibility for the payment that Miss Mullen received. Facano pled for forgiveness. It never came. Mullen fired from the airport. His deputy CEO gone too. And then we uncovered even more severance deals. CFO Carla Sledge netted 76,000 without even having to leave her job. Deputy Azam Elder was set to get one too, his for 350 grand. That all got our attention, but it also got someone else's. The FBI came here to the Guardian building a short time ago to serve subpoenas on Robert Facano's administration. The feds raided Wayne County last October in wake of our reports, and in subpoenas they laid out their targets. Elder, Mullen, and County IT Chief Tahir Kazmi. Months later, Kazmi would be indicted for shaking down a county contractor for 80 grand in cash, trips to Turkey and Orlando, and more. Do you want to apologize to the taxpayers and the administration? Kazmi would later plead guilty to taking bribes. He'll spend up to five years in federal prison. Elder and Mullen haven't been charged. No comment. But he has. Former assistant county CEO Michael Grundy was charged with extorting a county vendor for 50 grand a month. The feds say Grundy and his friend Keith Griffin organized a kickback scheme to steal a million bucks from a county insurance program. Griffin was quick to take a plea deal that'll put him in prison for almost four years. Grundy says he's innocent. I wouldn't do what they say. Sometimes I had to because I was afraid for losing my job. And then came all the lawsuits, lots of them from former county employees who all said the county was crooked. What's that cost taxpayers? Well, just to defend itself from all those suits, plus the cost of the FBI's probe so far, the county is on the hook for more than a half million bucks. But the highest cost of all? Michigan's biggest county has become a punchline, synonymous with allegations of corruption. And happening just down the street, Kwame Kilpatrick's on trial for the same kinds of things. I've been in public office over 25 years. I'm not Kwame Kilpatrick. No, he's not. But his scandal continues to swirl. They're beginning to have a lot more in common. Now, Wayne County officials point out that so far they've only paid out about 300 grand in those legal fees. That higher figure we mentioned earlier has only been what's been approved. But it's also very possible that as this scandal grows, that number will grow much higher. Now, if you'd like, you can see all our Wayne County stories in our Wayne County Confidential section that's on the homepage of our website at WXYZ.com. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News.